there are a few things that I did not tell you about in my regular skincare routine. I went over what I use in the morning and what I use in the evening, but I left out a couple steps because I don't use these all the time. And they are some things that my skincare routine would not be the same if I weren't using them. And I'll start off by admitting <laughs> that I'm working my way up to a very intense chemical peel. It takes months, if not years, to prepare your skin for one, and it's been over what was it, maybe two years ago since I had my last chemical peel done. What I've been doing to build up, I've been using the Ordinary's AHA BHA solution for over a year now. I feel that I have this thing on lockdown and under control. I've been starting to play with the Oz Naturals Medium Strength Micro Peel. This is a glycolic 30%. This one is more potent than the Ordinary's because the pH and pKa levels are different. Um, so basically that means that the way this acid penetrates the skin is a little bit different. Now I do have access and the ability to purchase medical grade only skincare. And because I have that ability, it's something that I will continue on to. But as far as right now, I'm focusing on glycolic acid and I'm just building my way up. This is an acid neutralizer from um, Dermalore. There are days that the weather will be different and your skin will react differently. So I always have an acid neutralizer on hand, even if I'm doing a non-medical or a micro face peel. Now I only do these, I would say once or twice a month. I'm working my way up to do them weekly. I might actually switch back to the ordinary and do a video on that if you guys want to see, you know, how it goes after five or seven weeks. Um, but right now I would say it's bi-weekly and um, I always have my neutralizer on hand. That is something that I feel is important because it's not a part of my regular routine, but as anyone knows, chemical peels have an intense impact on your skin. My purpose for this is to treat scarring and hyperpigmentation, but I still do have some active breakouts, so it does help with those. I'm back! The cat was yelling, and you know that I had to attend to my fur child. These are the zit stickers that I've been using on and off. The holidays are a time that I definitely don't eat as healthy as I should. And my body personally reacts uh, very viscerally to things such as high glycemic foods, uh, aka foods that have high sugar or if I'm eating a lot of processed stuff. These are these zit stickers that are meant to be used on the underground zits. And I have been using these one off um, when I get like some really horrible ones just pop up under the skin and like you can feel them making their way, tunneling through your pores and just trying to blow up on the surface like Mount Vesuvius. And these are supposed to stop them before they get super gnarly. Um, when you break down the cost, they are expensive. They end up being like $3 a patch. So they're not something that I play around with because they cost a pretty penny. But they are something that I really like. They have these micro darts or micro needles. So they actually stick into the skin and then dissolve over like two, four to eight hours. And for emergency situations or super painful situations, I really love them. I've done an entire video on them right here. So if you want to see that, this is where you can find it. Face masks are also a regular and probably my favorite part of a skincare routine. I love face masks because they stay on longer than a cleanser, so they actually have a chance to work and do what they need to do. But they're also fun. It kind of forces you to sit down and to relax. Um, for me, I like doing live streams or taking selfies. I have like a private Acne Warriors Facebook group and we do a face mask Monday, which is really fun. Um, if you're interested in joining, it's by application only, but I'm happy to consider if you want to apply. This is the face mask that I'm currently using. This is also the one that I used all winter last winter. It's the Teamy Detox Green Tea Blend Face Mask. It has kaolin clay and green tea. I started using this last year because of Dr. Dre. And throughout the rest of the year, of course, I switched up my skincare. Um, but this is a really fun green clay mask. It's kind of like the Indian Aztec Healing Clay 2.0. You can purchase it at Ulta, um, which is great because it's convenient and has betonite clay, kaolin clay, organic matcha tea, vegetable blends, vitamin E, uh, and a bunch of ingredients that my skin really likes. So because it's the winter, I'm back on this bad boy. I have spoken about this before, but I notoriously hate eye creams. There are maybe three out of 100 eye creams that I've seen within my professional skincare experience that I would ever recommend. And it's because most eye creams are crap. I've done an entire video about it here and about what to look out for and be aware of. Because the skin underneath your eyes is not just more delicate, but it's thinner and you need different products to penetrate. And a lot of companies are just trying to sell you their overpriced moisturizer with some fragrance in a tube. And it is literal tutti doo caca horse shit, okay? <laughs> So I notoriously hate eye creams, however I am currently using an eye patch and I am considering 
trying an eye cream. This is a huge moment for me because I don't take these things lightly. And also you have to know what you're treating. Are you treating the under eye color such as purpleness? Are you treating bags and puffiness or are you treating wrinkles? All of those three are dramatically different issues and one cream is not going to fix them all. So I'm considering trying this one. It's the Avocado Retinol Sleeping Mask from Glow Recipe. I like some of Glow Recipe's other products and the ingredients in here seem good. My favorite under eye cream to date is probably from Michelle, the Remarkable Retinalahide Under Eye Cream. This seems like a potential little sister to it. So we're going to see how it goes. But currently I am not using that and what I am currently using are these Wonder Beauty eye patches. Um, these are the 24 karat gold little eye patches. I actually put them in a cold environment such as a skincare fridge or refrigerator just to cool them down before I put them on my eyes. This is not an everyday occurrence. Um, they make me feel bougie, uh, especially if I've had a horrible night's sleep or if my skin just looks like hell warmed over because I just got off a plane, I will use these. But other than that, it's not a regular thing. When you break down the price, they're about $5 per package, so they are a pretty penny, but compared to most other 24 karat gold infused products, they're a reasonable price. And I'm not gonna lie, I use them because I feel bougie. They make my eyes feel a little bit less depuffed when I absolutely need it. Um, but overall, it makes me feel like an Instagram queen. And on days that my self-esteem is not up to par, this just helps me compensate. <laughs> it does have some good ingredients in here. It has aloe vera, it has glycerin, it has some vitamin B. Um, it does have some sodium hyaluronate, which is kind of like that hyaluronic acid. So it does actually help to nourish the under eye area. And I like them and I use them on my face, but it is not something that I do every single day. The video right here explains why I don't cleanse my face in the morning, because I'm sorry, I don't. I have like a two-step morning routine, okay? It's right here. If you learned something from this video, make sure that you that like button and whoosh, that subscribe button if you haven't already. Always remember to be beautiful inside and out and I cannot wait to see you all in bang this next video. Love you beautiful butterflies. Bye.